Hi, I'm Roxy Lang. Welcome to Children's Church today on Sunday, August 9th, 2020. And as you can see, look at the beautiful bright sun out today. The last few days have been kind of cloudy. We got some beautiful rain this afternoon and uh, that was really, really nice to water, for God to water the flowers and the, our lawns and all the trees and all the beautiful greenery, the uh, green grass and everything that, all the plants that need water. So we thank the Lord for that. Well, we have a fun story today. It's a story of Jesus going out to the to the lake where Simon Peter was fishing with some friends. And Jesus told them when they came in to throw out their nets again because uh, they can catch fish because fish, they didn't have a good catch the first time out. And they listened to Jesus. So we're going to see what happens when they when they obey the word of the Lord. So we'll say our prayer and do some songs and then we'll get into our, our fun story for today. So thank you, Father God. We thank you that it's a day to worship you. Every day is a, worship to, uh, a day to worship you, Father God. But Sunday is a day that we just take extra special time to, to spend time with you, Father. And we thank you for the rain that you sent upon our land to make the grass grow and to water all the vegetation. And we thank you, Father God, for putting your love in our hearts so that we can spread that love with others. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, well, I hope some of you were able to get to church today and maybe see some of your friends and sing some songs. But we have a fun story today. So the first song we'll sing is, I Have Decided to Follow Jesus. Because in our story, Jesus tells these men, these group of men that he's talking to, to follow him. So I thought the song, I have decided to follow Jesus, would be um, perfect for our little story today. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. No turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. Will you decide to follow Jesus? Will you decide now to follow Jesus? Will you decide now to follow Jesus? No turning back, no turning back. And when you decide to follow Jesus, you don't want to go. You won't want to go the other way again because following Jesus, uh, you find love and joy and peace and you're following your Jesus to the way to heaven. And the next song we will sing is I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. We haven't sang that for a, a little while. But when we follow Jesus, we're called Christians. Christian is a Christ follower. Um, many people in the world today unfortunately call themselves Christians just because of the name but if you're not actually following Jesus following Christ you're not you're not a Christian um, so the people who actually follow Christ who follow in his footsteps and learn what the Bible says learn what Jesus says and follow in Jesus footsteps that's when we are a Christian we can call ourselves Christ followers I am a C I am a C-H, I am a C-H-R-A-S-T-I-A-N, and I have C-H-R-A-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T, and I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-L-Y, I am a C, I am a C-H, I am a C-H-R-A-S-T-I-A-N, and I have C-H-R-A-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T, and I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-L-Y, I am a C, I am a C-H, I am a C-H-R-A-S-T-I-A-N, and I have C-H-R-A-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T, and I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-L-Y. And you can sing that as many times as you want, as fast as you can, faster and faster and faster. It's a fun song to sing. The last song we will sing is Fishers of Man, because the story today is on fishermen. And Jesus says, 
I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. So when Jesus says, follow me, he's going to make you fisher of men. I mean, he's going out to find men and people in the world who want to come and follow to introduce them to Jesus and so they can come and follow Christ too. I will make you fishers of men, fishers of men, fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. If you follow me, if you follow me, I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. So that's what Jesus says. He says, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And we want to all be fishers of men, just following Jesus and leading other people to Jesus too. So we will get into our story and we are still reading from the Jesus Bible for kids. The name of our story today is Jesus Special Friends. And Jesus had lots and lots of friends. Lots and, and we're, I'm Jesus' friend and you're Jesus' friend if you love Jesus. So Jesus has lots of friends. So Simon, and he's going to be called Peter soon. And we're going to learn that in the story. Simon sat on the gently swaying boat, looking up at the man. So there's Simon, and there the man. I bet you know who that is. That's Jesus. Looking up at the man who stood talking by his side, and beyond him to the crowd of people. And there's all the crowd of people on the shore listening eagerly to what Jesus had to say. Because whatever Jesus says is very, very, very important. Today, he had not been... Today had not been like any other day. Simon had been mending his nets because Simon was a fisherman. So he had to mend his fishing nets when they broke. So he was mending them by the shore when a man had come to the lake and had begun speaking. Jesus, he was called, talk about God's love and forgiveness and explain the scriptures or the Bible in a way that seemed so different from the way the priest talked in the synagogues. The synagogue is like a big church and that's what they called him in Jesus' time. When Jesus spoke, everything seemed so clear. Because Jesus tells stories really, really good, doesn't he? But so many people came to listen that it was difficult for everyone to hear what Jesus was saying. And so Jesus had turned to Simon and had asked him, if he wouldn't mind taking him out on his fishing boat so that people could see him more clearly. And back then, in Jesus' time, many, many years ago, they didn't have speakers. They didn't have microphones and things that people could hear all over. And there were thousands and thousands of people out there that were, were trying to listen to Jesus. So they all had to be really quiet and listen very carefully to the words Jesus said because there were no loudspeakers back then. And now, along with the crowd, Simon drank in every word he had to say. So Simon was listening, and he was close to Jesus. He was one of Jesus, he became one of Jesus' best friends, and he was a disciple of Jesus. But Simon was listening very, very closely to Jesus because he wanted to hear the important words that Jesus had to say. Afterwards, when the crowd had dispersed, when the crowd had all disappeared and gone away, or they all went home that afternoon, Jesus told Simon to push the boat out farther into the water and let down his nets. Master, Simon answered, we were out all night and we didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, then we will try again. And thankfully, Peter, Simon listened to Jesus. They didn't they were out fishing all night, Peter said. Simon Peter said, but so he said, we didn't catch a thing. And Jesus said, let's try again. And when Jesus says something, we know that Jesus knows what he is talking about, doesn't he? He couldn't believe his eyes when he pulled up his nets full of fish. And it says in the Bible that they kept pulling in fish and their boat got so overflowing with fish that they had to start throwing them out because they had too many fish. He called to his brother Andrew and to his friends James and John to help. And soon the two boats were full of fish. 
that they were nearly ready to sink. They just filled their boats and filled their boats. So when Jesus tells you to do something, then you should do it because you're going to get an overflow of abundance uh, when God asks you to do something. Simon fell to his knees in wonder, but Jesus smiled. Don't be afraid, Simon. From now on, you shall be called Peter. So Jesus changed Simon's name to Peter. And do you know what Peter means? The Greek word for rock. Peter is the Greek word for rock. And a rock is, is strong and firm and steady and hard. So he was telling Peter that he's going to be a strong rock. He's going to be a powerful rock standing strong and firm for Jesus. For that is will what you will be, said Jesus to, to Peter. Then Jesus turned to all the men. I want you to leave your nets, he said, and come with me and fish for men instead so that we can spread the good news. And that's where it comes. Jesus says, I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. So he follows Jesus and we become fisher of men, spreading the good news to everyone. And that's what the, all these men, they were fishermen for all their lives. And it might be kind of hard to leave everything behind and follow Jesus. But you know what? Jesus has a good path, a good path a good path and a good purpose for their lives when they follow him just like when Jesus tells us to follow him and he might say you know what I want you to I want you to pick up everything you have and just follow me pick up your toys and put them away and and listen to my words so he tells us the same the same things the four men had been fishermen all their life nets and tides and fish and sails were all they knew and I bet they had a good time out there on those boats fishing fishing for the fish. And it's not like just going out there with a fishing pole and, and uh, pulling in one or two fish every now and then like we, like we know as fishermen. But they were out there with big nets and they would put the nets out over the boat and they'd catch hundreds of thousands of fish and then they would sell them. That was how they made a living by the sea. So the four men they had been fishermen all their lives, yet they pulled their boats up on the beach. They left everything behind, just like Jesus asked them to do, and followed Jesus without a backward glance. So they said, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back no turning back and they had no intentions of turning back to being fishermen again when they started following Jesus they were right with Jesus just following and listening to his stories so that they could be fishers of men too isn't that a fun story I like that story those fishermen they they were out and fishing in the sea and and didn't catch anything because Jesus had a lesson for them to learn that if they listened to Jesus, and they did, they went back out there when Jesus said, you know what, go out there and put your nets down and, and uh, see what happens. And they did. And that gave them, that experience that Jesus gave them in that, mo in that moment, gave them faith, knowing that, you know what, if we do what Jesus asks us to do, then we are going to be more successful in our lives. And what, whatever Jesus asks us to do, we know that it's the right thing to do and that he leads us in the right direction all the time. So if he asks you to put your, put your life to the side, put your toys away and just sit down and take, that, take a few minutes to listen to Jesus, then he'll bless you. He'll bless your lives. And we learn more when we follow Jesus and, and listen to his word. So is there something special? Is there something that you really liked about this story? What is something that you really liked about this story? <clears throat> I like the part where Simon was so interested when he before his name became Peter he was so interested in Jesus and Jesus story that he was telling the people he he had a thousands and thousands of people out there on the on the on the land listening to his stories and Peter was right there with Jesus and I bet you him since he was so even so close to Jesus 
that he was probably listening harder and deeper in his heart than probably anybody else out there. Because G- Peter wanted to listen and learn from Jesus. He really, he really knew that the, the words that Jesus was saying was important. So that's what I, one of the, one, something that I really liked about that story is, Jesus, is Peter's attentiveness to, G- to Jesus and what Jesus was saying. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story and uh, that you want to be a fisherman following Jesus. I will, Jesus makes you fishers of men. And, and if you will just pick up that uh, fisherman's pole and go after Jesus and, and follow him and be a fisherman too, fishermen of, fishers of men. So thank you for listening. And I hope you enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. And we'll have another day of Children's Church tomorrow. God loves you. Jesus loves you and I love you. Thank you so much for listening and please share this.